Well, I wanted to show you something real quick. I got super excited about this. So yeah, we had some cloud cover. You saw a little bit of the sun going down, but check out what happens. It's like this flash of light just goes through the clouds. Pretty cool to see it on time lapse. It's not something you'd see in real time because it would go a little bit slower. All right, let's turn our attention to the winds. We do have warm temperatures, but we're paying for it tomorrow. We've got the high wind warning now, all western New York, except for Allegheny County. Allegheny County, you're dealing with a high wind watch all of these Saturday eve, Sunday evening, rather, through Sunday night. Here we go, roller coaster of temps, turning our attention to the temperature department. The highs tomorrow in the 60s, maybe even some 70s. And here's a little bit of tidbit here. 72 degrees was the record high for tomorrow, but that was set in 1964. Now let's go back down to the 30s. This is the range of the temperatures that you'll see, and I'll show you that in the seven day. Speaking of temperatures, 24 hour temperature change, 30 degrees, 31 degrees in Dunkirk. So we're anywhere between the teens to almost 30 degrees and over 30 degrees. Checking out the temperatures today, 51 is where we made it. We were supposed to be at 38, folks, and overnight's going to be quite warm. We're warming up as we speak now. You're seeing the temperatures go up because those winds are coming from the south, and we are in the warm sector here. You'll see it with that line of demarcation between the blues and the greens, showing you the wide view. And I'm translating that to 7 Super Doppler. Can you see that warm sector? Bloop. Oof, there we go. Warm front, cold front, and behind that is going to be some cold air. You'll see what that looks like and how when it gets here in the seven day. It's quiet on seven super Doppler, but things are going to start rocking and rolling. Let's show you. In the morning, you're seeing some showers and thunderstorms with those winds coming out of the south. And then things dry up for us. Those winds ramp up, but we get some dry time. And with that wind having that southerly component, definitely going to make those temperatures soar. We've got to deal with another rain shower or two. Then things dry up again. But the winds turn from the west, and it's going to take that cold air off the lake and make those temperatures decrease. And the cold front's going to be passing through and making things colder for us. Finally, you see those winds sharply decrease as you head into Sunday night and into Monday. But look what happens. Whoa, you've got some snow, wintry mixed precipitation, and rain here. And the issue with the rain is it's spending a lot of time around the 86 corridor and the Allegheny River here could be susceptible to some flooding. So we're going to keep our eye on that. Then you go into the second half of Monday. That system's going to come through bringing some snow, and it's going to do what? Spark up the lake effect. You're seeing it Monday night into Tuesday morning, still dealing with it. And then the rest of Tuesday, things are going to quiet down. We've got some quiet weather ahead, but we're still dealing with tonight rising temperatures. 40s into the 50s by the time you head into the pre-dawn hours. Going into your seven day, I got a pair of sixes for you folks. If we see more of that sunshine, we'll see gustier winds, but we'll see warmer temperatures. Then you go into Monday, rain to snow and back to rain again. And then we get a few quiet days on hand as high pressure comes into the mix. Look at how on Wednesday we're in the 40s and then we begin our gradual ascent in temperatures until the end of the work week. I'm not going to talk about Saturday. Uh, I don't want to look at that. 28. <laughs> Fair enough. 28, fine. All right. <laughs>